The amazing Hubble Space Telescope may be worn from wear and tear after 30 years, but it is still doing an exceptional job of capturing images of different parts of our universe. In this video, we'll show you more of the incredible images taken by the Hubble Space Telescope. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video to witness these incredible cosmic entities and phenomenons. Before we begin, welcome to Discover Space. If you want to be a part of our space journey, don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell next to it to be the first to know whenever we upload a new video. Number 12. Outburst of a Baby Star In this image, you can see two Herbig Haro objects called HH46 and HH47. Herbig Haro objects are some of the rarest sights in the night sky, taking the form of thin, spindly jets of matter floating amongst the surrounding gas and stars. They were spotted in the constellation of Vila, aka the Sails, at a distance of over 1,400 light years from Earth. Some 10 light years across, the outflows of matter were ejected from the newly born star and violently propelled outwards at a speed of over 150 kilometers per second. And upon reaching the surrounding gas, the collision created the bright shock wave seen here. Number 11, NGC 4826. In this image, you can see AFGL 5180, a beautiful stellar nursery located in the constellation of Gemini, aka the twins. At the center of the image, you can see a massive star forming and blasting cavities through the clouds with a pair of powerful jets, extending to the top right and bottom left of the image. This star's light mostly escapes and enters our atmosphere through these cavities, shining like a lighthouse through thick storm clouds. Dusty environments are where the stars are formed, and while this dust creates beautiful visuals, it may also obscure the stars that are embedded in it. Number 10, a Bell 78. In this image, you can see a Bell 78, an unusual type of planetary nebula. It is located around 5,000 light years away in the constellation of Cygnus, aka the Swan. Stars around 0.8 to 8 times the mass of our sun collapse to form dense and hot white dwarf stars after using up all the nuclear fuel in their cores. And during this process, the dying star will expel its outer layers of material, creating a complex cloud of gas and dust known as a planetary nebula. But some, like a Bell 78, are the result of a so-called born-again star. The star's core has stopped burning hydrogen and helium, but a thermonuclear runaway at its surface is still ejecting material quickly. The old nebula's material is shocked and swept away by this ejecta, producing the uneven shell and filaments around the central star. Number 9. Vel Nebula In this image, you can see Vel Nebula. It lies around 2100 light years from Earth in the constellation of Cygnus, aka the Swan. Only a small portion of the nebula was captured in this image. The Vel Nebula is the visible part of the Cygnus Loop, a supernova remnant formed roughly 10,000 years ago by the death of a massive star. The Vel Nebula's parent star, which was 20 times as massive as the Sun, had a short lifespan and a violent death that resulted in a burst of energy. Despite the stellar violence, the shock waves and supernova debris molded the beautiful tracery of ionized gas in the Vale Nebula, producing a vision of unexpected cosmic beauty. Number 8. Necklace Nebula In this image, you can see the interaction of two doomed stars that create this spectacular ring adorned with bright clumps of gas. You can also say it's a diamond necklace of cosmic proportions. This planetary nebula, appropriately called the Necklace Nebula, is located 15,000 light years from Earth in the constellation of Sagitta, aka the Arrow. The Necklace Nebula was created by a pair of sun-like stars that was in close orbit. A common envelope was formed when one of the elderly stars grew and swallowed its smaller partner some 10,000 years ago. A substantial portion of the bloated giant spun outward into space as the smaller star continued to rotate inside of its larger sibling. This escaping ring of debris formed the Necklace Nebula with particularly dense clumps of gas forming the bright diamonds around the ring. Since they are only a few million kilometers apart, the two stars that form the Necklace Nebula still seem as a single bright dot in the center of this image. The stars are still swirling around each other rapidly despite their close encounter, taking just over a day to complete each orbit. Number 7. ACO S295 In this image, you can see the galaxy cluster ACO S295. 295, as well as a jostling crowd of background galaxies and foreground stars. 
Galaxies of all shapes and sizes filled his image, ranging from grand spirals to fuzzy ellipticus. As well as a range of sizes, this galactic menagerie boasts a range of orientations, with spiral galaxies such as the one at the center appearing almost face-on, and some edge-on spiral galaxies visible only as thin slivers of light. The huge mass of the galaxy cluster has gravitational lens the background galaxy, distorting and blurring their shapes. Number 6. Part of Perseus In this image, you can see two enormous galaxies. The galaxy on the left is a lentical galaxy, which is named 2MASX J0319374 plus 4137580. The side-on spiral galaxy on the right is more simply named UGC 2665. Both galaxies lie approximately 350 million light years from Earth, and they both form part of the enormous Perseus galaxy cluster. Perseus is an important figure in Greek mythology, renowned for slaying Medusa the Gorgon. Perseus is one of the biggest objects in the known universe, consisting of thousands of galaxies, only a few of which are visible in this image. Number 5. Cosmic Lens Flares In this image, you can see arcs that result from strong gravitational lensing, a striking astronomical phenomenon which can warp, magnify, or even duplicate the appearance of distant galaxies. Gravitational lensing occurs when light from a distant galaxy is subtly distorted by the gravitational pull of an intervening astronomical object. In this case, the relatively nearby galaxy cluster MACS J0138-0-2155 has lensed a significantly more distinct quasi-galaxy, a slumbering giant known as MRG M0138 has run out of gas required to form new stars and is located 10 billion light years away. Number 4. ARP-195 In this image, you can see a dramatic triplet of galaxies, which captures a three-way gravitational tug-of-war between interacting galaxies. This system is known as ARP-195 and lies approximately 763 million light years away in the constellation of Lenox. ARP-195 contains at least three galaxy components, known as UGC-04653, LEDA-24981, and 2MASX, J0853546235-35084. Number 3. Seeing Quintuple In this image, you can see six luminous spots of light, four of them forming a circle around a central pair. But in reality, this formation is not composed of six individual galaxies, but only three, to be precise, a pair of galaxies and one distant quasar. This rare phenomenon is caused by the presence of two galaxies in the foreground that act as a lens. The central pair of galaxies are two separate galaxies, the four bright points circling them, and the fainter one in the very center are actually five separate images of a single quasar known as 2M1310-1714. An extremely luminous but distant object. The reason behind this seeing quintuple effect is gravitational lensing. Number 2. NGC 1385 In this jewel bright image, you can see NGC 1385, a spiral galaxy 68 million light years away from Earth, which lies in the constellation Fornax. NGC 1385's home, the Fornax constellation, is not named after an animal or an ancient god, as are many of the other constellations. Fornax is simply the Latin word for a furnace. Number 1. NGC 2164 In this image, you can see an open cluster known as NGC 2164. It is located within the satellite galaxy known as the Large Magellanic Cloud. The Large Magellanic Cloud is a relatively small galaxy that lies about 160,000 light years away from Earth. It is considered a satellite galaxy because it is gravitationally bound to the Milky Way. In fact, the Large Magellanic Cloud is on a very slow collision course with the Milky Way. It's predicted they will collide 2.4 billion years from now. Scary, right? Well, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to never miss another video. Also, let us know the image you're most amazed by in the comments section. Until next time.